Hi there and welcome back. So in this video let's talk about how to import and export and also erase you know, a distribution that in uh, Windows system for Linux. Okay so here in this case I have my computer I install here OpenSUSE my preferred distribution you can install whatever you want but let's say that if I want to export this to another computer or install that in another hard drive move it to another hard drive it is very straightforward there are a series of commands that in the video description you will find but also remember the hell Windows hell is really good so I always invite you here to come and just uh, <clears throat> Take some time now here and try to understand how everything works. So here you have the installation. Here you have the how to. How to. So this one, for instance, is you want to export here. You are going to have basic commands. Then how to import. But don't worry, I will show you the the the, the stops. Uh, the steps. How to do this one is very straightforward and even it's not time consuming and also in our link in our web page we're going to to load our our distribution okay so let's see how to do that so important here there are some other concepts here advanced settings configurations and this is something that i would like also to mention that when for the first time when you install a distribution uh you're going to create a, a user so that distribution it is in your computer and if you want to move it to another directory computer you need to create this file wslconf where you are going to define the default the default user when you log in okay so this is when you distribute and here you have a template okay later we're going to see my, my, my file but this is the template that you can use and here you have all the instructions in the page about what to do but basically look here that you have user demo user so if that user doesn't exist it will log in into the root okay so the idea is that is you have the user in my case in our machine is joji so you just put it here and automatically will log in but also you can have access to the root and create new, use, new users no problem okay so we're going to see these steps so the first thing is that okay let me open the terminal here I strongly recommend you to install this one. It's a very neat application. So let's say that I go here and launch my previous OpenSUSE. It is somewhere in my hard drive. I, I, I forgot what is it, but you can read the documentation to see where this uh, image is installed. In this case, it's, it is in C. So you have this command wslv and it will tell you the number of machines that you have running. Okay, in my case here, we have one machine with this name. It is running and there are many commands also that I invite you to get familiar. So in overview, basic WS commands that you have here, you no know, listing Linux distribution, switch from one version to the other, uh, setting default Linux distribution. So you can have many of them. So you want a default one, uh, the status of the, your machine and so on, how to shut down a machine because also when you enable them, they always will be running. So if you want to shut down, you have here the commands if you want to erase it here how to export to a tar file and import uh, <coughs> from a tar file so this is what we're going to to do on registered meaning it means uh erase and so on. so let's say that i am interested in exporting this one in a tar file that then i can distribute among many computers or do whatever i want so the command so we go here is this one WSL export the name I give it a name and this is where the file will be located okay so here also I have my my list of commands so I will do that and I will export that machine so see here to export it uh, and then this is the name that I'm going to give it and this is the location of the file okay <clears throat> So let's go and here you see that this is the name. So let's say that I want to export this one and here should be this one distribution name. Okay. And this one. So let's say that uh, 
I want to export. I know that the name of the machine is this one, okay? And then you give the location where you want to save that file. So I will do like this, okay? By the way, I already did it and I have here the files, but I will do it just to show you because it is not time consuming. So I will export that machine and I will put it here in this directory, okay? My user directory. So remember that you can copy and paste between machines here. So see that, type it name of the machine that you want to export you get it from here and then a location where you want to save that file you give it a name the extension is .tar okay so it's a compressed file and off you go and it will start the process here so if i go here and see that it's telling me that it will close that machine if the machine is running be careful that is you you are running it's going to shut down the machine because it's going to start to export it okay so if you were running something important going to be shut down automatically so be careful of that so see that now it is exporting it will take some time it's not something of hours probably i know six five minutes okay depending on the size but if i go here just to show you that it is exporting and saving that machine so i say i say to save it to save it here you can save it whatever you want so see here that is creating the file so in this file you are going to have a compressed image okay of this distribution that then you can redistribute among many machines okay so at this point let's wait a little bit until this process is done and then we continue with instructions so i'll see you later okay welcome back so see that in my case it is done exported the machine then let me check here the status no problem the machine has been stopped okay to do to export but if i go here let's say it will launch it automatically and now you have your linux working fine okay <coughs> check here it is running okay so what we just do is just export this when it will create this uh file cd tar file and here you have all this distribution all the configuration files inside that and now you can move it between machines with no problem so okay here let me go so see that i have in d this distribution let's say that i want to move it to to uh, in c sorry this distribution and let's say that i want to move it to the hard drive d and even to external one or different computer whatever so i'll see that in the i already created so i like to organize things and also you know, <laughs> my advice just create you no know, give a, a name create a separate folder to put that machine so here i'm going to put here my wsl distribution and see that I already copy here that tar file, okay? Which is slightly different from the original one. Remember that I added that configuration file just to have, to be able to, to log in as the, as the default user, okay? So see that I also created this folder and here is where we're going to export that to import sort of that virtual machine or distribution in WSL. So let's see how to, import this one so this is already i can I, I can distribute it using a usb you can download it whatever so let's see the next step will be to import that machine so to import the machine is straightforward okay wsl import and then the name that you want to give to this distribution okay so remember that the previous state we instead we import that this distribution that already was running it's very important the distribution must be running so here now i want to give it this name and i will create this new distribution okay i want to extract it in this folder okay that i have in d and my original file where i have my compressed distribution it is in here so i will copy this one this is the line that i need i will put it in here power powershell so see that this is the name that i'm going to give i want to install that here and the tar file with everything is located here so my tar file i want to put it here 
and that's all. So if I launch this one, it's a similar process to the previous one. Okay, so it will start to import everything. So if I go here, see that now it's telling me that it is installing the new one with this new name. So see that the custom is the name that I gave here. So it's starting to install that one. So basically it's start ex extracting this file and configuring this file and it's putting everything here. So see that here's where you have the virtual machine and see that it's extracting everything. And the end you are going to have a large file. Remember that the original <coughs> installation you have it used by default 256 gigabytes, but you can in increase that that space so you can look here expand virtual hard drive okay so but i think it's more than enough okay so let's see let's wait for this process and then we're going to enter into into this machine so let's wait a little bit so it's not that time consuming and see you see you later <coughs> okay so the process is done so i import it we check here and see that we have this measure so now so the machines are stopped there is no problem we can now start this one okay but if i go here look at that you have the extracted file okay so here is where you have all that uh distribution windows existing for linux distribution so if you go here also you're going to see you can access <coughs> You can access the machine, the directory system. So now let me enter because I mentioned that you need that file wconf that usually you put it here, etsy. And let me go here and see that I have it here. So this is not a Linux file, this is a file used used by the subsystem, Windows subsystem. So if I open this file and So in the case you download our file, everything is set up. So and in the virtual machine, no, in the in the the distribution, the default user will be Joji. So so basically what we are doing here that when you launch the virtual machine, automatically it will enter into this user. If this information doesn't exist, it will default to the root user. Okay, and then you have some some other options. You can read the documentation. So let's launch. Okay, before launching, also we, we need to run the machine. So the next step will be, and let me go back here. So now that we import the machine, to run this important machine, see that we use this command. We know that that is the name of the machine, and but to remind remind you that here is that you can list the machines. Okay, so see that this is a stop it. I want to run that one. And if I go here now, okay, now it entered it automatically. So see that I in that machine, no problem. Let me go back out. Look at that, both machines are running. Okay, no problem. So now see the, but basically what I did, exported the machine that I had in C, and now install that in D in a few very easy steps so now let me launch here okay so let me close it reopen just to so you can see that there is another another machine and i have it here custom and see that automatically is logging in and see that in the user okay so if you are downloading this machine it w the it will log in in the default user that is yoji and then the password is cfd1234 the password for the root user it is the same cfd1234 okay so for instance let me change to the super user and you go cfd1234 and there you go you are now the root user okay so you have everything and now this is a fully working machine so here i i uh, <coughs> i erase a few files that you need so you have the basic open for installation okay so remember that let me use get it bash rc so to load open for 9 just you have an alias then you have the alias for the version 2112 and this is important for to to find the mpi library uh, so if i go of9 phone you have everything and let me go to tutorials just to show you that i move the machine but everything runs in the usual way nothing <laughs> nothing happens okay no it doesn't correct the the installation so i go here so you see that you go block mesh 
icophone and then you can launch paraphone build int <clears throat> okay so as the first it is the first time that I launch part of it will create some f configuration files the fonts and everything so it will take probably a little bit but it's not a problem so okay we have it here apply and voila off you go so you have your machine here and just to confirm that transparency everything is using the acceleration is working so off you go in a few steps you can import export machines also you can erase machines you can do many things with those those machines there are those distributions so the next step let me go so we export it we import it we run the machine okay also uh you can change the default the, the default user of the distribution but this doesn't work when you move uh distributions now ws distribution this is this is only valid if you have an original installation so for us this is doesn't apply this is controlled using that file the ws com file this one okay that is controlled using this file uh by the way just to show you here that if i try to modify this file here from in, in windows it's not possible okay because i don't have uh I cannot modify f that file see access denied so it's also secure okay so i don't have access to that file i only can modify whatever it is in here in this user is the one that i have the rights to modify files so for instance if i want to create a new directory okay so with no problem <coughs> i can do, do like this Okay, and you have the directory and you can erase move files here in your user directory. You cannot do anything outside that, data, outside that directory. Okay, so the next step, let's say that you want to delete that di distribution. So it's straightforward as well. It's the unregistered auction and the name of that machine and it will delete it. Also, you can stop it. This is the command terminate okay it will stop it okay because all all these are running okay so if i click here i will run the original one the one that let's say i have in my drive c okay and um, something important also df uh, h so here i can see the space i'm using okay so see that this will see my drive c and d and see that i know the percentage that is used in those drives but also i know what is the percentage that is used in this virtual machine so it is located here and i'm using seven percent so as you see this is a very compact linux installation and we're installing just the required the required file so you have here a lot of space to to run cases and the same for the file now the one that we're moving so instead, this is much smaller. So see that only is using five five percent. So pretty much, yeah. I think this is all regarding this video. So just let me show you how to uh, erase that file. Okay. So this is the command. So remember that you need to give the name. So I, you go here, list the machine. See that you have this two. I want to erase this one. By the way, this asterisk means that this is the default. Uh, machine that it will run when you 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 <clears throat> you launch a new common plan okay so you can change the default value also you can rename this also so all those instructions again go back go here and you have here the basic steps okay basic wsl commands so let's say that i want to erase this one so just copy this one the name and just to point out look at that what we have and let me go in d i move everything to d here see that you have this file here and everything con is contained there so if i use on the register on register and erase it and see that if you enter here erase it okay not a problem and here again if you want to reinstall that one you have it there so follow those steps and at this point, I think you are ready to go. Okay, so in the video description, 
you will have the basic commands or also the link where to download this specific file. So thank you for your attention and see you in the next video. Bye.